Hi there, thanks for joining us. This video is for our viewers who have issues with penile skin discoloration. Most times, a little penis discoloration isn't too big of a deal. It could be the result of several non-threatening issues, things like post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation or mild bruising, generally due to activities like sex, sports, or uh, behaving a little too rough with oneself. These small, minor injuries to the penile skin might require a lot of R&R &R and a little OTC cream and pain reliever to get back to good. But today, we're talking about the more serious stuff. The discoloration and symptoms you should know about, preferably before experiencing symptoms, so you can catch anything serious early and head to the doc post-haste. Let's start with Zunes balanitis. While it sounds like something from outer space, it's a benign condition that can last from months to years. While benign, its staying power landed it on this list. Zunes tends to affect middle-aged to elderly men with uncircumcised penises. Men should look for an orange-red to red-brown patch, generally on the glands, that is smooth and shiny. Over time, the patch can expand without treatment. Researchers have not been able to isolate a known cause, but poor hygiene, rubbing, smegma stones, and potentially HPV have been linked. Treatment usually consists of a high-potency corticosteroid cream or a CO2 laser. Medical attention must be sought for this in order to clear it up. Next, hematomas. These are leveled up bruises which can be darkening, sometimes to a dark purple, blue, or green hue. However, when that bruise is elevated to a hematoma, it becomes lumpy to the touch as blood from the injury pools beneath the skin. This can cause a very serious, very dangerous loss of blood flow. Men experiencing this should see a doctor immediately. Treatment can range from ice packs and ibuprofen to surgery to prevent the rupture of a major vein in the penis. Third is Stevens-Johnson syndrome. This particular syndrome is a result of an allergic reaction, usually to medication. If your penis turns a very distinguishable purple and stays that way, it's possible the cause may be a severe allergic reaction to medication resulting in Stevens-Johnson syndrome, or SJS. If the rash accelerates into peeling skin and sores, get to the emergency room ASAP. This is a very serious illness that can lead to death. There are specific medications which are more likely to cause SJS. Sulfa-based antibiotics, ibuprofen, anticonvulsants, antipsychotics, naproxen, and antibiotics. Be sure to bring your medication with you to the emergency room. Treatment includes a full range of professionally given care and generally takes place in the ICU or burn unit due to the seriousness of the issue. In essence, those who suffer from SJS will need to grow back skin and should experience and should expect a hospital stay. If someone in your family has Stevens-Johnson, you're more likely to have it yourself. We can't state enough how serious this rash is. Get to the ER immediately if you think you have it. Fourth is sexually transmitted infections. Often, the first thing men worry about when noting a discolored penis skin, sexually transmitted infections like genital herpes and syphilis do have links to penis discoloration. Other symptoms to be on the lookout include fever, itchiness, pain, fatigue, and a burning sensation in the genital area. Get to a doctor or clinic for testing. Treatment varies depending on the STI and the severity of the case. Finally, penile cancer. No one ever likes to hear the C word, but unfortunately, discolored penile skin is the first symptom of cancer. It can happen anywhere on the penis, so uncircumcised men should be sure to pull back foreskin for inspection regularly. This discoloration may also be accompanied by other symptoms like a lump, thickening of the penile skin, reddish rash, flat bluish-brown growths, a sour-smelling discharge, a lump in the groin, or unexplained pain in the penis. See a doctor as soon as possible for tests. 
So, how can you prevent discolored penile skin? First and foremost, practice safe sex. Use protection to prevent STIs and always have an open dialogue about sexual and medical history with partners, even if it sucks the romance out of the room. Also, be sure to conduct a weekly self-exam of the genital area, noting any differences and pains. Finally, wear appropriate protective gear during group or adventure sports to minimize trauma or injury to the penis. Well, that's it for now. See you next time.